Nowadays, people use smartphones and tablets all the time. They have gotten used to using a touch screen on their devices. Even some desktop and notebook computers are now equipped with touch screens. Although touch screens are becoming more common, most computers still come with a traditional computer monitor. Is it possible to turn such a monitor into a touch screen? The LeapSense project makes it possible with the help of a small, highly accurate motion sensing device. We use the Leap Motion controller, which can detect small hand and finger movements within a close range. Using Leap Motion, we can easily turn any computer screen into a gesture assisted touch screen. The Leap Motion controller is a very compact device, about the size of a matchbox. When it is placed on a desk in front of a computer screen, it can detect the motion of a hand in the region above it. Thanks to three built-in infrared LEDs, two infrared cameras, and software that performs advanced math on the video streams of almost 200 frames per second, Leap Motion is useful in various areas of computing, including gaming, simulation, art, and education. In our LeapSense project, the most important information we get from the Leap Motion controller is the coordinates of our hands. For example, we can know the precise positions of the fingertips, the palms, or the joints in 3D space. To change any normal flat computer screen into a touch screen, we first place the Leap Motion controller in front of the screen. We then create a virtual screen by touching five designated points on the computer screen. Using these five points, our software first fixes the orientation of the virtual screen. Then, it uses the same points to determine the size of the screen. When the initial setup is complete, we can interact with the virtual screen to control the computer, as if the computer screen were a touch screen. We can also use some predefined gestures to control the computer in 3D space. Leap Sense's virtual screen can turn any flat computer screen into a touch screen. There are three ways to use the virtual touch screen. First, we can use one finger to make a single mouse click on the screen. If we tap on the screen, the system recognizes that we are performing a single mouse click. We can also make a double mouse click, again, by using one finger. If we stay at the same place on the virtual screen for a couple of seconds, the system recognizes that we want to do a double mouse click. Finally, we can use the virtual screen to simply move around the computer desktop. LeapSense allows us to move the mouse by moving one finger around the screen, just like we would on a real touch screen. Besides 2D touch screen control, we can also use Leap Sense to recognize hand gestures in 3D space. To use the gesture mode, we use one hand to draw a clockwise circle in the air near the screen. The mouse icon then changes to a pair of hands to indicate that we are in the gesture mode. To return to the touch mode, we can simply draw an anti-clockwise circle. To demonstrate the capabilities of gesture mode, let's look at two common applications. First, we will use a few gestures to control the operating system. Then, we will show the use of some other gestures to control a particular application, the Spotify music program. Let's first open a program using the Windows menu. 
To do that, we must make a hand swipe to the right. When the menu comes up, we can then start the program by clicking on it. Afterwards, if we want to minimize the program, we can do that by making a downward hand swipe. To bring the program up again, we can make an upward hand swipe and then select from a list of programs. If we are done with the program, we can close it by making a grabbing gesture. Finally, in case the screen is too crowded, we can quickly see the desktop by making a hand swipe to the left. Next, let's see how LeapSense allows us to control Spotify with gestures. Once we are in Spotify, we can use one finger gestures to control the music player. For example, we can play the current music track by making a downward swipe with one finger. Swiping down with one finger again will stop the music. While a track is playing, we can easily move to the next track or previous track by making a one finger swipe to the right or left, respectively. Finally, the volume can be adjusted by making a one finger circle gesture. Moving in a clockwise direction increases the volume, whereas moving in an anti-clockwise direction decreases the volume. Another mode of interaction is the scroll mode, which allows us to use gestures to look at any scrollable content in the computer. To start using the scroll mode, we flip our hand upside down 180 degrees and then flip it back again to the original orientation. After that, we can scroll the content up and down by waving the hand in the corresponding direction. To stop using the scroll mode, we simply flip the hand 180 degrees again.